welcome back to another video. It's the 3rd of October and I turned 27 today so we're off to the big smoke for a day out in London. So we actually drove this time, we headed straight to Westfield in Stratford, parked up, had a little look around the shopping centre, Callum bought me some new perfume for my birthday which was very nice and then we headed off into central London. Our first stop was to Chinatown. We went a different way this time. We got off at Tottenham Court Road Station and then walked across. The heavens started to open, which was a bit annoying, but we grabbed a umbrella from TK Maxx. Um, and then, yeah, we started our little food journey. So we headed straight to the bakery which we've been to before. You've probably seen it on TikTok and things like that. But we grabbed these pork rolls, which are really, really nice. They're like a brioche roll filled with this really nice pork filling with sauce. And then we also got these little fishies, which I really like before. I have no idea how to pronounce them, so I'm not going to. But they're like a cakey sort of taste with filled with custard. Callum then went to another little stall and got a pork bao bun. It was super fluffy. He really liked it. It wasn't my cup of tea, but anyway, it was nice. Then we went to Good Friend, another one you've probably seen on TikTok if you follow those trends. That was nice. We went for seaweed chicken strips. You can see here, it was super hot. It just been freshly cooked, so I burnt my lips on that one. Then we headed past the Butterfly Trail as we were now going to head off into Oxford Street for a wander around. This was really cool. It was like an interactive game that you could play. So basically you release a butterfly and then you can follow it around the glass house. That guy there was absolutely incredible. He was playing all of that on a keyboard. We then popped into Selfridges, mainly for the loo, but had a little wander around too. Then it was back to Bond Street Station, and we were off on a surprise. Well, Callum knew what he was doing, but I had no clue where we were going. We went along to Paddington Station, then jumped on the pink line which I think is the Hammersmith and City line and then we arrived in this strange location um, Callum pressed the buzzer and up we went bless him he had organised a surprise which was permanent welded jewellery which we got matching so I actually went for an ankle bracelet so basically you choose your chain any chain there was loads of different ones to choose from gold and silver they then pop it on and you see if it's comfortable, big enough, um, things like that, and you're happy with it, and then they weld it together. It's a continuous chain, so you can't see where it's joined. It was actually a really, really lovely experience. It was so quick, um, and we're really pleased with our new matching bracelets and anklet. So after we did that, we then headed to Camden Market. We haven't been here for years, I don't think, because I cannot believe how much it's changed. So we went through to the market area first, where there was loads of different shops. Callum had a little look through a few vintage places. This place was selling all things to do with Crocs. Um, but yeah, so it was really, really nice. They've definitely spent a lot of money on this part of London. Um, we couldn't believe, as I say, how much it's changed. We had a wander around there. It was probably about five o'clock here, so some places had closed, but there was still plenty to look at. We then crossed the road and headed up a little bit further near to Camden Lock. A 
again here this part was also all new to us i'm not sure how long this has been here but it was like a huge three-story food court there was bars in there there was shops there was arcade games there was so much and um, we had a wander around there and then headed to what we would have known as camden market which again also has massively changed there were so many shops i'd say over a hundred food outlets loads of different things to look at um, it was so busy still this was probably about six o'clock here we had a walk under the umbrellas which was really cool these were these new like pods that you could eat your food in which was free and then the famous cyber dog shop there was loads of cool statues that was amy winehouse and down there was Lara Croft with the Tomb Raider experience. This was the Coyote Ugly Bar. And then this was basically where you could go in and have old photos taken. There was a man dressed up here, which was pretty scary. We then headed over and grabbed ourselves some yummy food. We went for, I went for a mashed potato pot, which had chicken at the bottom and gravy and roasted onions on the top. Callum went for a Yorkshire burrito wrap which had all the greens, roasties and his meat choice. We also couldn't help but grab a portion of Dutch pancakes to share and then that was it. We headed back to the central line, made our way back to Westfield and then started the journey home. There was quite a bit of traffic on the way home. Callum had the Arsenal match on the radio, but we got home probably an hour and a half later, chilled out and then went to bed. Tomorrow was a chill day, as then Thursday I start my new job. So it was new job day, my bag was packed and I found my parking space. I was at the office today. This was a little picture of my day on Friday. I started off at the warehouse, absolutely loving it. I've really, really enjoyed my new job already. Um, feel so welcome and everyone's so lovely. Friday, we headed off to Olio's um, near Molden as it was Callum's grandma's one year <laughs> anniversary. Um, we went with the family, had some lovely food and it was just really nice company. The place we went to, we had the outside area which was heated um, and as you can see here it was really really beautiful we had the table on the right there but it was lovely little picture of us all little picture of me and cow we really really enjoyed ourselves saturday morning i was going to pick mum up as we were off to the theater there was some protest going on in the town centre and a lady was trying to put a newspaper through my window, which um, I just did it up because that's nothing to do with me. Anyway, but yeah, this is the end of this video and catch up what we get up to Saturday evening in the next.